Hey guys, what's up? This is Sarah. You already know what I look like, so let's just hop right into the eBay Profit Show. Today, I'm going to be going over Valerie's eBay store to help her make more of an eBay profit. So in this show, I go over title, listings, bio, all that good stuff, and show people how they can improve their listings and if you're so they can sell more on eBay. And if you're at home watching, you can apply these to your own eBay and do the same. And as always, if you want to be on the show, I'm going to leave a link how to apply underneath this video. Let's hop right in. Okay, so this is Valerie's um, about page. I want to say, good job. I can see right now that, yes, you are a real person. Yay! You have darn near perfect feedback. That's making me feel really good. The only suggestion I have for you on this page is change this right here. Make Put a little something about yourself and about what you sell because that will help you rank higher in search. If you mention, I like to sell whatever brand, insert brand here, like I like to sell J. Crew. Um, yeah, this is a default bio that eBay puts here. That's not helping you out in search. All right, let's go right to your store. All right, run around Sue S. Variety Shop. Okay, so it's got a pretty purple header. There's new arrivals ending soon. So what I noticed here is an awful lot of categories. And while it's fabulous to have eBay categories, it's great to help you rank higher in search. eBay actually says that if... Um, if you only have a few listings in each category, you probably have too many categories and might be creating a poor buyer experience. So I noticed um, you have a lot of things with one category, like, or one item. Pajamas, that could probably go to women's or whatever, whoever category it belongs to. Car stuff you and motorcycle stuff, these could be condensed into one, like vehicles. Um, this only has one, I don't know what P-I-C-Q means, but that might be a typo. So if it's pictures, you want to type out the actual word pictures because I'm going to see what this actually is. Because if it's spelled wrong, people aren't going to be able to find it in search unless if they're already in your store. It might mean antique pieces. Or unique pieces but anyway the point is if there's you know three or fewer five or fewer items eBay says you know be sure that you have enough listings to make each category meaningful to a buyer now of course this is your store and you could do what you want but this is coming right from eBay so that, that's my suggestion to you, because people are going to have to do an awful lot of scrolling to find what you want, versus if you had uh, women's clothing, men's clothing, women's shirts, men's shirts, um, et cetera. All right, so now I'm going to open up one of your listings, and this is a mesmerized women's dress, and I took the liberty of looking this up in Title Builder. Something that could help you, Valerie, is you want to add print to the title if you can. Let's go over to that. Oops, that's not it. Where'd you go? So um, if there's no room right now, change that medium to just an M. So size M. Um, take the N out because black, white is fine. Size M and then add print, P-R-I-N-T because that's what people are actually searching for, and that dress is a print. And you can take women's out and replace it with women, which is a lot more popular than women's, in this listing anyway, and save yourself some characters. And get rid of that apostrophe. All right, let's see what else Title Builder says. Animal. It's also a sleeveless dress, I believe. So the picture is nice and clear, but it's very slim. There's all this space. 
So I recommend you go into PicMonkey and I actually put a tutorial, a link to my free tutorial on how to make beautiful thumbnails for eBay that are square underneath this video. So you want to fill up this whole square because right now it just looks like a close up of her boobs. <laughs> so let's see how many pictures you used. Is there a picture that shows the whole dress is what I want to know. We have one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's very slim. Uh, I might, I would recommend like you take a picture of the, I'm not sure why you cropped it this way. Maybe it was laying next to a bunch of stuff, but I would recommend that even though the pictures are clear, this is going to look like a sliver on someone's phone. So take a picture of it on the whole dress. It looks like you have a mannequin. So I'm not sure why you didn't take a picture of, you know, showing the whole dress on the mannequin. But you have a lot of pictures, which is good. You want to make sure that you fill up all the picture slots. Maybe it didn't fit the mannequin. That makes sense. But yeah, make sure you fill up all 12 slots. That way you're listing will rank higher, but okay, here's this, here's a, excuse me, here's a square one. All right, shipping, 975. Ooh, that is a lot for a dress. Um, what I would suggest is that you go on the United States Postal Service website and order yourself some free shipping supplies. Even the, yes, it's your store, you can charge whatever you want, but I don't know anybody who's selling a lot, who's selling, who's charging that much in shipping for just a dress. But the shipping supplies that I'm gonna recommend to you, where are you? Order stamps and supplies, they're free. Um, they are flat rate mailers. And I'm gonna put a link to just another reseller's video about shipping underneath of my video because she went over this in detail and it'll save a lot of time but yeah you can order free shipping supplies you want to make sure that you get padded mailers padded flat rate mailers and get poly mailers as well and i put a link to the poly mailers that i use underneath of this video as well i understand that um ebay just well the united states postal service just raised their fees but they didn't raise them by that much. So shipping, my opinion is you're charging too much for shipping. Let's see, is this a pre-owned item? Yes, it's a pre-owned item. So I've never heard of the brand Mesmerize before. Um, I'm not saying it's not a great brand, but I don't know a lot of people who would pay, you know, $24.96 for a used Mesmerize dress. Um, so the, like I said, this is just my opinion, but if you want to sell more, you want to charge less for shipping. And this might even be able to go first class. I'm trying to look where it shows me how much it weighs. Another thing that I would recommend for you is to have somebody proofread your description, if you can, because I noticed some mistakes here. Also, not a lot of people read this. I know it sounds bad, but I have people ask me all the time, oh, what are the dress measurements? And I have to write back to them, it's in the description. So not a lot of people read this, but I did notice some typos in here. What you wanna put under here, it's good that you have the title again, but you also wanna put what size it is and especially the measurements. Um, it says, please view all photos and check measurements. I didn't see the measurements anywhere here. So I recommend that you include your measurements in your listings. All right, so let's check another listing. Oh, while we're here, let's just see if it's mobile friendly since that's really important now. So many people shop on their phones. And if your listing is not mobile friendly, it's not gonna come up in search when people are on their phones. So this is eBay's free mobile friendly checker or tester. Uh, 
Okay, it's not mobile friendly. Nicole State and Joe State did a super great tutorial on how to fix this. I'm gonna include the link to that video underneath of this video. And I'm also gonna include the link to my super quick, easy, no coding required tutorial to show you how to do this from the get go so you don't have to fix it later. All right, let's move on. I'm gonna pick something randomly for your store to look at as well. Another thing that I would recommend to you is to look over your sales for the last, it looks like you sell pretty much everything under the sun. What I would recommend to you um, is to look over your sales for the last three to six months and find what you sell the most of, whether it's hard goods or soft goods, and focus on that and try to eliminate the stuff that you're selling like, you know, that makes up 20% of your sales or less because you're gonna make more by focusing on the things that you sell the most of already. All right, let's take a look at this. Reebok New Orleans Saints unisex shirt, black breeze nine on back, size small. Okay. I would take off on back and we'll see what Title Builder has to say about this because I don't know anything about sports. So this is going to show us what people are actually looking for. All right, so they're looking for jerseys. They're searching for the sizes. Okay, you do have the size. They're actually searching for the letter of the sizes. So you can take out small and just put size S. NFL, football. Breeze, they are looking for that. Men, men's. I would take off unisex and put in men or men's because that's what people are actively searching for. People are not searching for Unisex, even though, sure, a woman could wear that too. People are actually actively searching for a men's shirt. So stick men or men's in there. Take off on back. We know that it's on the back. Let's see your pictures. Again, there you've got this funky crop going on. Fix it in pick monkey. I And there's only five pictures. I would love to see a picture of the whole shirt from the front and the whole shirt from the back. Um, and you want to fill up all 12 slots so that you get ranked higher. So take a picture of the inside tag, of the care tag. You can keep all these close-ups, but you want to have a picture, you know, from far away too, showing not just the details, but of the whole shirt. So Valerie, I hope you find these tips helpful. Let me know if you ended up selling more because of them. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you want to be on the eBay Profit, I'll put a link underneath of this video.